What is up my YouTube nation? This is Chris aka Barnon 11970 Thanks for checking out this video and I hope you guys are enjoying this day. Beautiful day out and I'm going to be enjoying going to the beach in a few minutes. Uh, but before I do, I want to talk about some of the, the recent news that I've been hearing. Uh, I saw in the newspaper as I was going to get some uh, vegetable rice at uh, the Chinese food place um, that there was another school shooting. Also, there was people that are considered Alex Jones conspiracy theorists that uh, shot two cops. And I want to put my two cents on all this stuff. I have to say that it saddens me when people resort to violence. I've said this, I don't know, for how long on my channel. Violence begets violence. And unless we change our way and find a better way, Nothing good is going to come out of what these idiots did. And that's what they are. Now, whether it was staged, whether it was somebody getting paid to do it, whether it was just two lunatics, I don't know. But I find it funny that all of these shootings just all happen to have assault rifles. You know, it seems like there is a potential agenda here where they're trying to hammer to people's minds that assault weapons automatically means crazy people that go around shooting kids. First of all, shooting anybody with any type of weapon is wrong. I, I love the hypocrisy where police can shoot people, especially innocent people, and there have been thousands of cases where they just get a paid vacation for what they've done. We have militaries throughout the world that can go around killing people. They can drop bombs on people. But these individuals, they call them the lunatics. Now, I'm not going to justify any murder. Anybody shooting anybody other than a defense is totally wrong. And that's why I don't even believe in guns. I believe people's right to own them, but I won't own one. I just find it very sad that What's going to happen is, let's just say there was no conspiracy theory here whatsoever, and it was just two lunatics thinking that, you know, they're going to try and do their agenda by shooting a couple of cops. They're idiots. They are not representative of the community. And I think that's a sad thing, because now, whatever those the motives of those individuals were, they are going to give the whole thing a bad name. Like they say, a few bad apples spoil the tree. So whether it was planned, whether it's just an act that they're trying to do on the television, trying to, you know, cause an agenda, the damage is going to be set. And the average person out there is going to listen to what the media says, and they're going to make it like all of us are crazy conspiracy theorists who want to get guns and go and shoot people. Let me tell you right off the bat, I don't believe in murder. I don't believe... I've had people that I've wanted to fight. Unfortunately, we've all been there. When it comes to protecting your family, everybody gets to that point. But there's a difference between saying something and actually doing it. Because even when I had the problem with the whole raw dog situation, what was that? Like three years at this point, but people still love to bring that up because that's the only thing they could find on me, I guess. Notice that Nothing has ever happened since. You know, how many people out there are so hypocritical where, you know, they get into an argument with somebody and say, oh, I wish you were dead. And, oh, you know, I've seen, you know, I've been working in bars since probably 1999, hanging out with, in them since about 1992. And uh, I've heard many a person want to start a fight. And when they break it up and they want to get at each other, they, they say the same thing over again. I'm going to kill you, man. I'm going to kill you, man. Just wait until I see you outside. I'm going to kill you. Well, people say things in the heat of the moment. But there's a difference between somebody that says, oh, I'm going to kill you, to somebody that actually goes, gets a weapon, and goes and shoots somebody. And that's why I even preach. And anybody, I'll tell you right now, if you are on my channel and you think what those people did was good, if you think shooting cops or shooting anybody is a good thing, then get off my channel. Now, I'm not talking about defense. If all of a sudden, like, for example, there's some kind of revolution or there's a gang that comes into your house or a burglar and you're protecting yourself, you have the right to defend yourself. That's totally different. 
But I'm talking about somebody that would actually go and get a gun, would actually go out into the streets to go specifically looking for somebody, whether it be a schoolyard, whether it be a cop, a, a bunch of cops sitting around eating. Because let me tell you something. I have no love for cops. Now, I wouldn't wish harm on them. I have family that's cops. And I've always said that we have to do this peacefully. And people just really want to stick with the old paradigms where they think it's okay to hurt people and make lies and make accusations. To this day, I have people, like some people making jokes saying, oh, maybe it was part of the Barna Nation. I mean, really? I mean, are they that desperate for attention? Really? Some of these people really should look in the mirror because they really need to look at themselves for the judgments that they have. And if anybody's been on my channel more than a few weeks, they know that I've always preached nonviolence. There's a difference between defense and crazy. Somebody that's going out to hurt somebody. And the no matter what problems I have with the government, no matter what problems I have with what some of the police officers are doing, no matter what problem I have with what some of the military is doing, and what the banks are doing, I'm not going out wanting to hurt somebody. Because what does that prove? You know, is that not the, the height of hypocrisy? Is somebody saying, oh, well, I don't like what they're doing. I don't like, for example, uh, let's say somebody says, well, I don't like the fact that cops are shooting innocent people. Well, so your solution would be to go and shoot a bunch of cops? Does anybody see the problem with that? Murder is wrong. Plain and simple. And there are some people that are just waiting with itchy trigger fingers, just waiting for any moment that they can end up, pull out their gun and cause havoc. There are just some people out there with that mentality. And I am proud to say I am not one of those people, nor would I ever be. And that's why, even though I believe in people's right to own a gun, you will never see me go to any gun store purchasing a gun and bringing it into my home. I don't understand the concept. So for the families of those police officers and the family of those children, regardless if it was a false flag event, if it was staged, whatever. I don't know. I wasn't there. So I can't tell what it is other than making it an opinion. That's what most people's as, as ascension of talking about this is really about. It's just giving their opinion. Because unless they were there, how do you know what somebody's intentions really were? And I would love to find out if these people are on medications and stuff like that. And how many times have I told people, stop listening to Alex Jones and all those people that promote nothing but fear, the fear porn. Every day they're hammering at you, oh, this, you're going to die, you're going to get sick, they're poisoning everything, look out. And wrong is wrong. And that's why I've always made the sentence that if you have 99 pounds of ice cream and you add in one pound of poop, what do you have? Well, you have 100 pounds of poop. I'm not going to say the real thing because YouTube actually flagged a video because I said one curse word. I guess because I don't make enough money for them to uh, allow that. So I won't even say it the way I used to. I got to keep it rated G, which is fine. But I don't know how I could stress that if we don't find a better way, a peaceful way to get things done, all this is going to do is make them get the media to get the people on their side and eventually they're going to say things like you know what not only are we going to ban assault rifles we're going to just rewrite the second amendment and you're not allowed to have guns anymore there's obviously a purpose behind this because there's no way they're saying in the news article they said there were 74 school shootings since sandy hook and every one of them just happened to be an assault rifle you know Nobody ends up using a handgun or a shotgun or any other thing. They want to hammer in that word assault rifle. So even if they weren't any of them, let's say none of them were agenda-based. None of them were conspiracy setups. And let's just say it was just 74 lunatic idiots that just happened to choose an assault rifle as their weapon. They're blaming the tool and not the crazy people to do it. Because as much as I don't like the way this government and all governments are treating its people, the way, the, the, how I don't like the way the bankers are stealing the wealth of, of their people, of how media lies to their people, I would never want 
to have anyone, especially myself, but no one to go and kill somebody. How does that make you any better? So I'm putting it out there that on behalf of the people, the families of those cops and the people that had to deal with this garbage, my sincere condolences for them. And I think it's disgusting that somebody would do that. Wrong is wrong, no matter how you justify it. I just, I don't get people sometimes. Do they ever stop and think? Because you haven't lived, if you haven't said something in your life, you haven't regretted saying. There's no person on the planet that hasn't done it. But there's a difference between saying something you might regret and following up and doing something. It's just amazing, the people out there. What goal did they think they would achieve by this? They think people were going to applaud? All this is going to do is going to make us all look bad. The government and the media is going to be all over this stuff. And it's another way to suppress information. I've already seen people saying now they're too afraid to speak. And I don't know how many times I've talked about living in fear. You know, it's just like being a slave and they decide, well, we're going to kill one or two of the slaves. And the others say, all right, I guess we, we shouldn't revolt. We shouldn't run away. We got to be quiet. You're doing exactly what they want you to do. They're using fear. Because how many videos have I said fear equals control? And I won't be silent. And I'll be the first one to stand up for peaceful ways to change situations. If you have an itchy trigger, trigger finger then you're part of the problem. I'm not saying you don't have the right to defend yourself. That's totally different. If somebody comes into your house and they're trying to harm your family, or harm you, or whatever, you have the right to defend yourself. If you're on the street and you get mugged, you get attacked, or a gang tries to gangbang you, you have the right to defend yourself. And that means if you have to take a life of somebody, it's you have the right to defend yourself. But you don't have the right to go out and take somebody else's life with the intent of that being the purpose of it. To go out and kill somebody or even injure somebody. Because, as they say, two wrongs don't make a right. So, as much as I have problems with the government, the media, the police, all this garbage that we're dealing with. This is not a proud moment. I'm not celebrating. I think it's disgusting. And I hope they find the people that did it. And I hope they get what they deserve. They were lunatics that did the wrong thing. But unfortunately, it's just going to be like how they always do. They're going to take advantage of it, and they're going to have the few bad apples spoil the tree. But I'm not going to be afraid to speak up. And I hope you're not either. But if you want to promote violence, don't be on my channel. And for those who are trying to make accusations to say that I, I would be a part of it, it just shows how pathetically disgusting and desperate you are for attention. And when you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. So to those people that are going around spreading those kind of things, I think you're you're very sad. And uh, I hope you find a better way to spend with your free time than making disgusting kind of comments. But that's what trash does. So to anybody out there who's on my channel who thinks going around killing cops... Or especially innocent cops who are just sitting there eating dinner or whatever they were eating. If you think that's a good thing and you think that's a happy situation, I don't want you on my channel because you're part of the problem. It's just like then you're no different than the governments in the military where they murder for peace. I don't understand the hypocrisy, but I'm glad I don't. Anyway, my real subscribers will understand the the individuals out there with too much free time in their hand that just make accusation after accusation. They're just silly little faceless people that are desperate for attention, and they'll say anything to get a look. That's a sad life to lead. I'm glad I'm not them. Thanks for watching. Peace.